What's up guys, this is Eddie, welcome to a new video and I have something really 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 big, huge and exciting to share with you guys. So DCO uh, just posted uh, this on forums and this he's, this is just huge, I don't know how to, how to describe my feelings. Uh, this is basically the stats revamp and it is basically gonna change everything all the powers all the mechanics all the loadouts and how you play the game it's gonna change everything and this is awesome this is what i have been waiting for a long 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 time so let's get into it and i'm gonna explain you what they mean by what they have written on the forums so let's start all right the first thing is the combat rating differential so they are removing CR based damage they are removing the combat rating based damage and this is the good thing this is where the stats come in this is where the skill points comes in so if you have more skill points you're gonna do more damage you're gonna perform better whatever your role is right so this is the first main thing and we all have been waiting for this like long time and second thing is again hashtag stats matter so no more CR jumping right so you can make a new character but you cannot like if you jump to like you you power level it up and you ha get help with your friends you get it to 175 like in a, in a two days in two days or three days it's not gonna matter like somebody else with 175 CR is gonna do more 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 much more damage than you and gonna perform much more better than you if you don't have the stats uh, you need, if you don't have the skill points you need, so only s combat rating is not gonna matter. And this basically means more skill points is equal to more stats, and more stats is equal to better performance, right? So another thing they're doing is they are revamping the skill points. They are revamping the skill point trees. They are changing everything. So if you uh you used to like go to different weapon trees and get different innates and go deep down into the tree to unlock your your uh required uh innate like suppose your damage so you have to get might and precision innate which is like you know further down below and you have to get like 20 spend 20 skill points to get to that no more you don't have to do it anymore they are going to make a like one skill tree and skill tree right which is gonna contain all the uh, stats which you need right so and it's you can access it uh, like early when you're leveling up a tune or whatever so you can just go in there and pick whatever you want and you don't have to spend you know spend your skill points into unnecessary things uh, uh, which you don't need like if you're damaged you don't have to uh, uh, get to get restoration to to open up uh, the innate which is like further down below to get might and precision right you're getting me so far so this is this is something really awesome and so basically overall stats matter skill points matters more skill points more damage more uh, everything and no more combat rating uh, damage no more CR based damage and yeah so let's move on to the next part and this one is huge this one is the major change in the game they are removing advanced mechanics and weapon mastery bonuses and what that mean is you can read you can pause and you can read all the, the whole paragraph but basically what that means is there are gonna be no more big hits so let's say you are gadgets or mental master and emp is not gonna do that big hits right so all your power power bars are uh, power uh, powers in the loadout are gonna be doing same damage almost equal to each other right so basically they are like all the powers are gonna be same there's no more big hits and what it's gonna do is that also uh, mean that there's going to be no nature and electric revamp because they don't need it anymore and this will bring nature and electric back to you know uh, in the same category uh, with all of the powers it's going to be doing the same damage as all of the powers so good news for that and second the main uh, thing they're going for is uh, let's say let's say the pro players like the uh, 
players who know how to use their powers and uh, against the players who do not know how to use their powers they're new to game or they just want to enjoy the game they just want to build cool characters and have fun right so if you compare these two there is gonna be still a difference in their damage but not that much right so all the powers are same all the powers are going doing almost same damage and uh, how are they gonna make difference how are they gonna be different like right um, skill points one if you have more skill points you're gonna do more damage two power interactions right so if I want to choose uh, if I want to go if I have a gadget tune and I, I just want to use uh, taser pull I will be doing damage and I've I might be uh, near to your damage if you are really pro at it and you're using power interactions but like if you're using power interactions and you are following the uh, like you like there's gonna be still loadouts and you're following the loadouts you're gonna be doing much 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 more damage than me but still not that big difference so that is one uh, big huge change and another thing they are basically uh, bringing uh, the damage between non damage rolls and damage rolls much 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 closer like right now it's 4 to 10 like DPS is doing 10 damage so healer rolls trollers and tank rolls are doing 4 damage but they're bringing it much closer so let's say it's gonna be around 8 or 8 to 10 or 7 to 10 so non damage rolls gonna be doing damage as well and it will help overall you know the game gaming uh, balance next one is supercharges and yeah, that makes sense basically they're obviously they're removing advanced mechanics so supercharge will play an important role uh, while doing damage or whatever role right so um nothing more to it it's it's, it's a common sense you have to uh, use your supercharge strategically and uh, it all depends on you how how you uh, use your supercharges and build them all right second up is modifying power and power regeneration so that means with advanced mechanics gone there is gonna be no power regeneration and so now you have to run with controllers this means more job for controllers right uh, one person stated in the in in the forums that uh like two years ago controllers were like straight up battery like they weren't supposed to do anything they were just supposed to do pod and just recharge and just just give power and power and power no that's not the case thing is with this one this means you are back to two trolls per group which means one uh person is going to be giving power other is going to be helping him give power but the other one person is going to be battery and other person is gonna be the crowd control controller right so he's gonna be doing all the crowd control and cc's and uh, stuns and debuffing and everything just like it used to be like two years ago so simple stuff next up they are removing power points what that mean that means um now that you have a power tree you have usually you have two power trees so in order to use uh, a specific loadout you have to unlock specific powers to get that right so in order to get emp i have to go down specifically on the left side and get the emp uh, or right side and uh, same with other powers but now as they're removing power points this means all the powers are just going to be there for you you can choose whatever you want it's it totally depends on you whichever power you want to take all powers are already unlocked and with that uh, the iconic powers uh, they are gonna be in the new skill point tree so you can uh, use them if you want with your skill points because all we basically use from the from the iconic powers are the critical chance attack and critical attack damage uh, we go for toughness health and um, defense and uh, vitalization dominance basically stats related all this all the stats related stuff right so th that is already going to the skill point tree so no more iconic powers and no more power points uh, like you have to just you just use they're just gonna be there and you can use whatever you want so it is a great uh, approach to the new, like new approach to the game and I'm looking forward to these changes and I think they are pretty pretty cool and next one is ending mid-range 
this is gonna be super awesome for some players what they're doing is they're they're completely ending that mid-range close range or far range whatever thing right so maximum range doesn't matter what range you're at you are gonna be doing the same damage right if you're like far range if you are at uh, mid range you're gonna be doing same damage but that also changes your loadout you cannot use EMP at the, at the far range, it's, it's not gonna hit. So this means you're gonna be using the dart. Or you're gonna be using something else, right? But why people went for EMP instead of... Uh, why people went for uh, EMP instead of dart? Because it used to do more damage. But no, now it will do similar damage. I had now all powers are doing same damage. So now it does not matter what power you go for. It's gonna be same damage. So that is pretty awesome. You can just do... Um, great damage uh, and doesn't matter where you stand you're gonna you can be close you can be good but there are some powers which are like completely melee based and uh, let's say outrage from rage or claw uh, from hard light right they are they are melee powers those powers are still gonna be doing more damage than the range powers. so let's talk let's let's say a hard light you're gonna you're using minigun or light blast in and other person is using claw claw person is going to be doing more damage because he's using the melee power it doesn't have anything to do with the uh which range you're in it has to do which power you're using right but it's gonna he's gonna be using, doing a little bit more damage than the range uh ability user and that's it guys this is the huge update they just uh launched on forums it's gonna be on test server really soon and i'm gonna be testing it out and we'll let you know guys what i think about it other than that uh it's gonna be on live server probably in december or january early january because they have said they are gonna launch they're gonna be launching this stat matters update before water powers and before the new dlc so look forward to that and i'll be testing this on test server and we'll keep you guys updated how is it and what for the changes they make so this is it guys uh, i hope you like the video let me know in the comment section below what you think about it or you can tweet me at iid gaming on twitter and let me know what you think see you guys